Hi, today I'm going to give you three easy ways to find your ideal customer. So tune in to the, today's video. Good morning. Thank you for joining me, Coach Michael, on your Monday morning. Marketing, marketing, marketing. It's all about marketing your brand, marketing your company, marketing your product and services to your ideal clients and customers so you can create revenues for your company, so both you can win and your clients can win. There's all sorts of marketing. There's magazines, there's Instagram, there's LinkedIn, there's Facebook, there's your database, all ways to get in front of your particular customer that you're looking to attract. There's low cost ways of doing it and there's high cost ways of doing it. The first thing when you're doing marketing is whoever you're using, make sure you're testing and measuring the results and also up front when you hire a marketing company, make sure you're setting the expectations. However, I believe in marketing made simple. And I'm gonna give you three simple traits to really find your ideal customer. Because um, remember, you want a business that works for you and when you have clients and customers you love dealing with, you now have a business that works for you. Number one, get clear on your ideal customer or client. I mean, be very clear on who you would like to work with. When they do what they need to do on their end, you can definitely deliver your goods and services and get superior results for them. Two tools I use to get clear on that. Number one, an ideal client checklist. Take, everybody has a client they would love to clone. So take all the characteristics of that client, list them down in bullet points, and then add some more and create your ideal client checklist. So when you sit down with somebody, you can check off these boxes and say, this is a perfect client for me. Number two, do the contrast clarity checklist what you don't want in a customer, and what you do want in a customer. So you get really, really clear on when they show up, if they fit at what column. So when you get clear on your ideal client checklist and the contrast, what you don't want and what you do, you become very intentionally clear on who is a perfect client or customer for you. Number two, once you figure that out, go where they're at. That's it. Marketing is getting in front of your customers. So whatever, wherever your ideal customer and client is, go there. Advertise in the magazines that cater to them. Go to the events where they hang out, whether it be a country club, whether it be a certain networking group, whether it be a big group of certain individuals and entrepreneurs, it doesn't matter. Once you get clear on who you want to work with, Go where they're at and spend your time, energy, effort, and money there. Now, once you go there, you're going to find your ideal clients. They become a customer or a client. Number three is people hang out with people like them. So it's pretty safe to say if you're very clear on who a perfect client or customer for you is, you're going where they're at, they're doing business with you, when they're happy, simply ask them, who else do you know, just like you, that's not doing business with me that I would be able to service? It's that simple. Keep it simple. Keep it intentional. Be intentional on exactly who your ideal customer or client is. Go where they're at. And they, when they become a client or customer, ask them who else they know. There's three simple tips to make marketing simple. Hope today has been valuable. As always, I want to thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. Have a productive, proper week. See you next time.